So, uh, my name is uh, Bishop uh, Elias uh, Tome. I'm the Bishop of uh, Valley of Christian in Syria. Uh, Dries, who is uh, near to the Lebanese-Syrian borders, and near to a very famous, unfortunately now, uh, city called Homs, because uh, this city is uh, near to be destroyed by the war machine in Syria now. We are just near this uh, city, about uh, 50 kilometers from this uh, city. The area, uh, called again Valley of Christian, is very famous by the pl pluralicity uh, characterized because we have about uh, 37 uh, Christian village, but we have also uh, about seven uh, Alawite uh, villages uh, and from another hand we have uh, a very big uh, village Sunniti village which is about uh, uh, 20,000 uh, of people. Now after uh, the crisis uh, in Syria three years ago uh, the, the conflict uh, became unfortunately sectarian. Uh, this, uh, this sectarian conflict uh, put people uh, face to face, each part uh, carrying weapons against the other. And uh, in our area, because we have uh, all these sects, especially Alawite and uh, Sunni, which now really uh, being uh, against uh, each other, as church and uh, as uh, peacemakers, according to our Bible, we were thinking about a project of peace, uh, about project of peace, but uh, for children. Why children? Because this category of people uh, is very dangerous if they now learn and uh, uh, put these seeds of violence and war inside them, they will become very dangerous in the future. From another uh, part, uh, this category of people that is effectively could be changeable. So you could learn them uh, peace, let me say, a peace mentality. So we decided to establish a, a center of peace for children, which we call it CPC. And I was ad I, uh, I addressed Dr. Vendley and uh, Religion for Peace, uh, explaining my idea that in this time in Syria, people fighting, we need an initiative of peace. And Dr. Vendley was encouraged me that we have to establish this center. And really this is what happened. We establish a center of peace like a, a peace initiative on timing war. The problem of this uh, uh, center is kind of uh, after school uh, center. So we are gathering children from all the religions, so that means uh, from uh, Islam and Christianity, but in the side of Islam, we have Sunniti and Alawiti uh, children, and from the side of Christianity, we have Orthodox and Catholic and so on. So all these they children, they come together, about uh, 50 children, uh, four, four times a week, and they are learning all this uh, values of peace for uh, uh, not, not stop war, uh, not for violence, uh, learning all these values which important time now in uh, time war, uh, time of war. The, the, the important thing that the, the people uh, which they are fighting outside they still their children to the center.
this shows a very big and high level of uh, confidence in this center and in the people that they are taking care of these children. For sure, we have an agenda that uh, we use uh, for each month and each week. We have for the center uh, some uh, outdoor activities. So they go to, mo to visit, for example, a mosque or, or a church or hospital or a center of uh, uh, people in special need. To make this uh, center like, let me say, social phenomenon in the time of war. And really I'm surprised from the reaction that adults uh, telling me about it because each one of this child when, when he goes back to the house talking about CBC, uh, talking about what they uh, were uh, teaching, people they are this remain like uh, surprised that those people, those children could stay together, eat together, uh, play together uh, away from all this uh, sectarianism and but as adults we are carrying uh, guns and weapons to, to fight each other. So uh, really I, I would to, to say a big thank for the uh, religion for peace and big thank for for uh, the staff of CBC that they are working. I have a wonderful staff. Uh, they are working hard to, to, to put this smile in the uh, mouth of those uh, children. And what is the prospect of taking this model beyond the 50 children as you begin to learn what works and how it works, what's next? Well, uh, to, be, uh, to be honest, uh, we are working step by step. We, we start only to gather those children, just inside, inside, uh, let me say, uh, next door, to, to be sure later that I have at least a group of children they, are, uh, they have self-confidence, they are peaceful, they are uh, joyful. Uh, then this was for the first six months. Then when Religion for Peace renewed the program, I said, we go now outdoor. So now we are visiting uh, and doing this uh, outdoor uh, activities. Now, uh, we have many ideas to to think for the future if we will continue doing this CBC and I hope to do that we are uh, hoping to write letters to religious leaders and to to be uh, carried by children themselves to go around around the, all the area and maybe around all the Syria and the safe places at least to bring this uh, message of peace, that these children, they are demanding the leaders and the adults, we need peace. We don't stop violence. This is the idea. But uh, uh, let me be, be honest that uh, we, we work in a very difficult circumstances. You cannot imagine how, how efforts I did to convince the, 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 I mean the families to send, to send uh, their children because now when you have this, all these sectarian uh, elements in the society so you miss trust when one man say, one father say how can I send my daughter or my son to such uh, center where there is a uh, Alawite or Sunni so it's very difficult. We did a, a lot of effort to, to achieve this uh, level. And, and what is the current situation with the children? Are the, are the children doing things they wouldn't otherwise do? Are they, are they 
doing things outside of the center that is different from what they would have done before? Well, uh, I can say that the, the, the children, they respond to the activities and to the, where they are teaching. Because now when they leave the center and do, they go to the school, uh, and they talk to the friends and so on about the activities, well, another friends, they are surprised. Ah, oh, you are doing such, uh, why? And, and the children themselves, they start to explain, no, we go to do this and uh, we work together, we, uh, uh, we, uh, each one of us uh, is respectable and uh, uh, no place for the religious uh, differences, just we are, uh, uh, they teach us uh, to love each other and to accept each other. So I think uh, the future will be, at least for the Syria, we will have, uh, let me say, a group of people, they believe in this, in peace, in peace education and in peace uh, mentality. And this is why, what we need for the future of Syria. That, the, that those children, when they grow up, they will be the future of, the, of Syria. So when they have these uh, seeds of love, they can, they can do it. They can manage to do it. Bishop, thank you very much. And best of luck. I thank you. My last word is exactly to thank Religion for Peace for the support. And uh, first of all, for, for being with us in such difficult time. Thanks very much. Thank you.